Now let's discuss how to place furnitures and plumbing elements or families here in Revit. To do that, let's go to the tabs here in the insert tab. Click and then in the load from library, click the load family icon. And throughout this house, uh, two-story house modeling tutorial course for beginners, the last family we load is the column. So that is the first folder we we show when we click the load families now let's change this folder let's go to another folder click this up one level to back make sure you are in the us metric folder and then find the furniture folder then then let's go inside click double click and then let's load furniture elements so first let's load this tv flat screen and click control then let's choose this tv stand click we have the preview here then click open to load and then let's choose another families click load family and then let's choose the beds folder let's go inside and then here let's choose this bed standard then click open Then per folder to, uh, when you click load family, you are in the inside the folder. You select the families you want and then click open because if you select, then you go to other folder, baka malito ka. Okay, so just, just select what is the family inside the folder and then open and then click load family again to find another families para specific and madaling matandaan. Then let's cancel, click load family, let's go to other folders, click, then let's go to seating, let's use, let's, uh, yeah, let's use this corbo, chair corbo, and yeah, let's use this sofa corbo and click control and chair corbo, click open. Then load family again. Up, click up one level. Then let's go to the tables. Just use this coffee table. And then dining oval round. Yeah, let's use this dining round with chairs. And that's it. Let's use this dining table, dining round with chairs. And click control. Then click the table coffee. Then click open. Then next, let's load up one level. Plumbing. Let's go to plumbing folder. Double click. And then here in the plumbing folder, you have architectural and MEP. They are, they are both having plumbing elements inside, but the difference between architectural uh, families under the architectural folder and the MEP folder is in the architectural folder is just architectural element or architectural plum, uh, plum, just plumbing fixtures na hindi siya uh, wala siyang provision for piping the MAP has the piping connector so meaning if you place a water closet from this library you have the provisions to create the pipe in the architectural it's just the plumbing fixtures wala siyang plumbing elements you have to manually create a pipe connector to create a pipe okay so let's choose the MEP folder click and then the fixtures click and then let's first let's use the water uh, let's load water closets uh, just one water closet click yeah let's use this flush tank water closet flush tank open Click load family. And then let's use uh, lavatories. Yeah, let's use these two. Click control to select both. Then load family. 
we can load bot tabs here is the pipe connector i am talking but is this is uh, separate the water closets in the mip folder has already a piping connectors <clears throat> showers we can select the shower yeah let's use this shower stall corner click open and then we can load other folder but for, but for now let's just use what we have loaded already so let's click x and then let's place the furnitures so let's go to first floor Then, di na natin kailangan itong naka-underlay na second floor. Let's go to the properties. Under underlay panel, let's change the range to none. And so, the first floor is now hidden. So, let's place furniture. Let's go to architecture. And to place furniture, ang kumad nyan is CM in the keyboard. And if you want to use the ribbon, under siya ng component, place a component. CM ang kumad. Yeah, so the first is shower stall. Let's place another elements here. Uh, let's place the dining table. Let's use this 1500 mm diameter, 1525. Let's place it right here. Click. Then let's choose another family. Yeah, let's use this TV stand. Place it right here. To reposition the family, just press space tab uh, space bar in the keyboard to change its orientation then click right here in the center of the wall click then let's add tv the, the biggest space yeah then click here then skip twice let's move this backwards then mv Move it at least here, yeah. And then let's go to 3D view if okay. Batong pagka placement ng TV and ano nga ba to uh, TV stand. So as we can see, hindi sila nakapatong, uh, hindi nakapatong ang TV sa TV stand. So let's click the TV, and then make sure na. Let's click first the skip muna. Let's click the TV stand. Let's check its height. Click edit type. The height of the TV stand is 500 millimeter. So click X and then click the TV. Let's go to the first floor level. Click the TV and then change its elevation from level 0.5. Then click outside. Then let's double check. Now, nakapatong na siya sa TV stand. Let's go back to the first floor. Let's add sofa, CM, in the keyboard. Change it to, yeah, this uh, sofa. Space to change the orientation. Then, dito, click. Then, let's use this one here. Para hindi disturbing sa sliding door natin. Click. Then, coffee table. Yeah, let's use this uh, second option. And click here. Then, let's place bed. this double twin space to reposition and then next let's uh, place plumbing fixtures to place plumbing fixtures yung command nya is not cm let's skip twice let's go to the systems tab and here in the plumbing and piping and dito yung plumbing fixtures plumbing and piping panels so click the plumbing fixtures <coughs> And then, let's use the water closet, flushing grater, yung tong private, click. Then, to reposition, space bar, click around here. And then, let's choose, 
lavatories private then it will need to see wall so meaning dapat natin ilagay ang cursor natin sa wall yan para mag reflect yung lavatory natin so click around here then press skip twice click the lavatory make sure na meron siyang height hindi siya naka flash the in the level 1 and then let's use the bigger lavatory yan then let's copy this these two elements up to the second floor click and then press control click tapos dito sa under clipboard in the ribbon click the copy to clipboard and then next go to the second floor let's paste it here skip twice muna itong nakikita nyo is from the first floor so naka underlay lang siya let's change this let's remove the underlay under properties then underlay panel let's choose none so ayan hindi nakita yung first floor natin but kulang yung windows natin so let's add windows muna click then mirror click right here skip twice and then click create similar uh, uh, skip twice muna click right click then click create similar let's place it around here click skip twice let's click then let's make uh, skip twice let's dimension this one then let's make it that it is equal yan skip twice then delete the dimension unconstrained yeah so let's place let's go to the modify and then paste align then level 2 click ok now the water closet and the lavatory is placed then let's say we have to add shower here so let's go to system tab plumbing fixtures and then let's choose the shower stall let's use this private then let's click it around here yeah skip twice then let's move this water closet press lang yung arrow key to a uh, left a uh, right arrow key sa keyboard to move yeah if that is okay so let's just use that for now and let's place bed beds place a component bed space yeah then dito space and then here the master's bedroom click then skip twice click the master's bedroom then let's change it to king size bed yeah so here in the is the master uh, mtb then the family hall let's add sofa yeah let's, let's use this bigger sofas then space yeah click space yeah so that's it that's how you place plumbing fixtures and furnitures families in the Revit software.